Do you want free coaching? Well, I'm coaching anybody below the rank of plat and all you have to do is join my Discord link in the description and I'll be doing VAR review streams every weekend and helping people get out of the ELO hell. Are you new to Valorant? Or maybe you just hard stuck. Either way, I have 10 very, very useful tips that you can use to get out of your low rank or if you're new to get better. Now I started iron myself and now I'm diamond. I went through every single rank in the beginner, like low rank. So I think I have enough experience to tell you guys how I got out of the ranks and how you can do it. Now my first tip for you guys is choose a sense and stick to it. Because I see so many people changing their sense all the time. I played Valorant for almost three years now and I put over like a thousand hours on it and I never changed my sense even once and I'm super consistent with it. So I'm, I suggest you guys just stick to one sense, maybe two if you want to, but I suggest really, really, really sticking to one sense and keeping it through your journey and just trying to master that one sense so you can hit the micro adjustment, you know, tiny flex, all that stuff. So yeah, don't change your sense frequently. Just now I just want to talk about your second tip, which is stop blaming your crosshair or your teammates when you die. It's such a huge thing and you need to get better on this if you want to be a better as a player. When you die, think about what you did wrong, not what your teammate did or what crosser you had on. Those don't matter. What's going to matter is you realizing why you died and how you can do better next time. Now the third tip goes back to the second tip. Basically, every time you die, think what you did wrong, what you can do better and how you can improve. This will significantly increase your chances of getting better and it will speed it up by quite a bit. Because every time you die, and you think about it, you realize, oh my god, I did that wrong, right? And the next time you do the same play, you'll be like, oh wait, this play is not good, right? So it's going to help you like realize your mistakes. Now the third tip I have for you guys is look at your minimap and be aware of what your teammates are doing. I see so many people just like ignoring minimap and like just not even looking at it at that point. Every time you're rotating, every time you're setting up, or like just like leaving a site in general, you want to look at your minimap and see how your team is communicating with the map. In lower rank, especially like below gold, people won't really calm anything. And if you look at the minimap, it's going to provide you a lot of information that you will need to win rounds because of how your teammates will just not say anything, right? Think of your teammate as like free Sova recon and they're running around the map giving you free information. So definitely use the minimap. Now, the fifth tip I have for you guys is stop wasting your util. Stop just throwing them out there and like not following up on it. Every util in this game has a purpose. So let's say you're a sky and you're dogging. Tell your teammate, hey, I'm on a dog. Can you follow up with it? If you're a K, are you going to flash out a smoke? Tell your teammate, hey, I'm going to flash out a smoke. Can you come with me? Can you push out with me? It's just so much better to let your teammate know what you're doing so you you can follow up on your util. Just, just practice that with a friend or two and you'll see your rank going up so drastically. Now the sixth tip I have for you guys is start warming up before you play your comp games. I'm sorry, but if you're hopping in saying you are the best, that's not going to provide you with any benefit and warming up just really brings the best out of you, okay? You don't have to waste 20 minutes, 30 minutes warming up a day. You can just like five minutes. If you wanna, if you don't know how to do it, there's a video on my channel, five minute warm up routine. That one I have been doing for like months and it's really effective. If you don't have time for that, go ahead and check that out. It only takes you five minutes and it makes you really, really, really crispy and consistent. Now the seventh tip I have for you guys is positioning and knowing what utility your enemy has. Playing off angle, just playing something that's not a common angle will win you like so much more duels and some agents can do it better. That's true, but that doesn't mean you can't play off angle, right? Always try them. Off angles can be round changing and game winning. So if you don't know what off angles are, look up some videos, there's tons of guides on it and learn them. Do them, really good, really good. And if you don't know what utility your enemy has, that's gonna make you lose rounds. Knowing if they have a sky dog, knowing if they have a Sova drone, and knowing what position you can hold against those utils can really, really turn the tide of the game. So just please do that. I don't see any of you doing that anywhere like below diamond, just please. Now the eighth tip I have for you guys goes back to earlier tip I mentioned, basically, start calming, stop complaining. I see you guys complain, but not calm. You die, you start complaining, right? Stop doing that, start calming. Oh, Brim is on backside. Sky is playing heaven. Sky has one more flash left. Phoenix uses flash. You see how much calm I just did that would provide your team with so much more value than you complaining? Like, just start saying, I have a sky dog left, let me dog out. Well, I have a sage slow, slow left, so we can play post plan, I can slow them. I have a res, so let's play, I'm gonna play back, let's play slow, and if anybody dies, I can res them. Just start doing calming. 
if you're low rank, doesn't matter. Start doing this so you train when you're high rank so you're not behind on your comps. That's my eighth tip for you guys. Now my ninth tip for you guys is get an agent pool. Get two to three agents you can play that you can really, really utilize to your maximum potential. Stop failing like every agent in the entire game. That's not gonna help you. Let's say you're a Cypher main, but then you start playing KO. Like you have no idea what you're doing, right? So just get like two to three agents. I suggest like one on Duelist, one on Sentinel, one on Controller, or maybe one on Initiator. It doesn't matter. Just get like three characters and three different roles. So you can always fill and always help your team while also being able to play your best. So just get two to three agents that you can really, really play at your highest level. Which This will increase your win rate like crazy and your tracker stats off the roof. Thank you. Now my final tip for you guys to improve fast in Valorant is the 2-1 rule. I named this rule 2-1 because it basically means after you play two comp games, you take a one hour break. You do this over and over again. Basically what this does is refreshes your mental. So when you're back, you're like not tilted anymore. Like go watch some TV, go watch some TikTok. I don't know, just take a one hour break. Go read some books, just not Valorant for that one hour. Because after you play the two comps game, right, your mental will be in that mindset already from the last two games that you will not be able to focus on your third game. That's how I have been noticing it. So just take one hour break, not long, just one hour. If you can't do one hour, 30 minutes, but just take a break in between two games. This will help you a lot. Now, thank you guys for watching. I really, really appreciate your time with me. And let me know in the comments below if I missed any crucial tips. I didn't do this, like, cross replacement stuff because it's out there everybody knows that stuff i wanted to let you guys know how i got out of the low ranks and all the way up to diamond almost ascendant now thank you for watching again